Hi there and welcome to this new tutorial. I'm going to teach you in this tutorial how to do this. As you can see we have only one colored object. The rest of the scene is black and white or whatever you want. So I call it one colored object. It doesn't have a name but I just call it that. Before we get started, if you don't know about masking, you better watch this tutorial that I've made before. So let's get our scene. This is our video. We drop it on the trimmer. Okay. Let's look for a part where we want to apply our effect. For example, this one. We press tab. If we drag it like that, we, we will have two tracks. One for the audio, one for the video. But for this tutorial, we don't need the audio. So we undo it. We press tab drop it and we have imported our our video on this is a video and we don't need a video we need just a picture for this tutorial so we did it this part you come here where the, where the pointer is you you right mouse click you press on save snapshot to file so save it wherever you want for example here and this format always gives me errors so I prefer this one save okay now this appear, we press hold and drag it and we have just a picture which is 5 seconds long. Let's trim it to 3 seconds. Okay, we don't need this window so we close it. Alright, so now we have our picture. We select our, our event and copy it and then add a new video track and paste it again and you will see why I did this later on now we use the crop pan tool to mask our our object our object will be pain so we start masking for now it doesn't have to be perfect but if you are using it for a video it must be perfect Now we close our mask and you will notice that nothing will happen as you can see here. So now we can control the effects applied on the uh, pain himself and the background behind him separately. If we copy this mask, copy and come here and paste it and change it to negative and now what whatever effect we apply on on this event will will be applied on pain alone and if we apply any effect on this on this event it will affect the background behind so for example we can take the saturation to zero and you can see the only colored object is pain now now we can apply some effects Whenever you do a mask, it takes a lot of your time, so you better use it the best way. If we delete our effect, we can do something nicer. Uh, first, we can add noise, blur, and HSL adjust. Okay. And now I want to teach you how to use the enemies button. Now you can see the value the value is constant throughout the video with respect to time you can change that by using this this option which is the animate button if we take this value to zero we will notice that the value throughout the video with respect to time is zero and for example let's drag this one to the end give a value of 100 or 0.1 or make it 0 0.3 okay you will notice that with with respect to time the value is going to zero because this keyframe value is zero and this one is uh, 0 0.3 okay we turn those on we do the same thing to the blur and HSL adjust this value is too large let's try 10 
same here 10 and let it go to 0 0 ok animate uh, let it start with 1 and end with 0 and here let it start with 1 and end with 0 so let's take a look and see how it looks like ok that's bad we can add something else one more touch because you can see here our scene looks very looks boring because it's static we can add some motion make sure those are on and now go to the last keyframe zoom in just a little okay and you better apply the same zoom to the other event you press here on the, the first keyframe press and hold control and select the other keyframe and copy them come back to the other event you can come, come to the first keyframe paste and you will see that this was copied the same value at the same time so that's it for our tutorial today I'm going to teach you more masking transitions later on Please uh, like this video to help my, my channel to grow and uh, show me what you, what you have tried. Post it as a video response. It's Milos Control. Peace.